What is going on, everybody? Sean and GT here with Coffee and VR. This is about to be a very, very strange episode today because I was about to do this show all by myself because unfortunately Tyler has a very bad migraine and he was not able to make it today. It's kind of last minute, so I was trying to get set up. I put a tweet out on Twitter, uh, said it's going to be a strange, lonely show today, and Gamertag <laughs> messaged me and he said, hey man, I'm ready if you need me, I can hop on. So it literally, we just got him in here. He's just joining us, so it won't be as weird of a show today with just me by myself. So what's going on, Gamertag? Thanks so much, as always, coming in clutch anytime you need it. I love it. Cheers, man. I'm all right. I'm, I'm a little bit out of breath. I've just run up and down my stairs to get some water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to play it all cool. Like, yeah, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Crazy week for me personally, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Whoa, we got the donation. Nice. Uh, Ger German Rifter. Thank you. He said, neat. Looks like Tyler finally grew a beard. Oh, wait. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and we're still waiting on Tyler to grow that official beard. Hopefully that will happen. But uh, at least we got another bearded feller on the uh, show today, so that, that's pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's definitely going to be a different show today. We, we didn't prepare together at all, so it's going to be much, uh, very much ad lib, just uh, off-the-cuff stuff today, which is usually kind of how we roll anyways and what makes it pretty interesting. I did want to throw this out real quick because last episode, me and Tyler, uh, we were in the same location. We were at his house. I was in Ohio for the show. And the one code that we gave away right off the bat, uh, it was a whole new scene that we had set up at his house and the code didn't even show up. It was underneath the bar, which I didn't even realize for the whole show until somebody said something afterwards. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and throw that code up here now. Now somebody can get it is for uh, down the rabbit hole uh, oh. Oculus code. And this is courtesy of Mall Magician. Mall Magician sent this over uh, to give away on the show meant to give away last show but we're gonna give it away this show uh, instead so somebody uh, can grab that but uh, so the big stuff this week really I mean it is all the sales stuff I mean there's not a whole lot of real big news we got some cool stuff to talk about but the sales stuff is just absolutely insane I mean the summer sales are always really good when it comes to VR when it comes to steam you know oculus is running some sales as well uh, is there anything that stands out to you uh, gamer tag that you I uh, highly recommend picking up or it's just one of them sales that you just can't pass up. Anything stick out in your mind? If you're on about the Steam sales, I've had an absolutely crazy week because my wife's been ill. And, uh, oh, sorry to hear that. I've been able to even check Steam. So if you want to run through some titles, man, I'll tell you whether I'd pick them up. But uh, I mean, I can have a quick look. Definitely. Yeah, we'll pull it up. Uh, Tony Digital with a super chat. Thank you so much. He said uh, loyalty funds. <laughs> that that is the awesome there. Let me, uh, I actually can pull up so, oh, I don't have you in the scene, though. Let me add you in the scene, because like I said, this was not, uh, this was last minute. So let me... Uh, Dude, the big ones straight away. You got Half-Life Alex, Boneworks, Pavlov, Blade and Sorcery. Like, the, the actual Steam is, <laughs> Steam is promote, like, the biggest ones are being bought anyway. Um, Skyrim's a tenner. Yeah, Skyrim Jeez. and, uh, where can I put you? Because this is going to be... I'm moving you all around, but I don't know where to put you because I'm going to put you here. That way we can still see the game and the price. <laughs> like I said, crazy show today. But uh, yeah, there. I mean, some of the stuff is, I mean, Half-Life Alex is a game to me that stands out. You can take me off it. Take me off it. Take me off it. No, it's fine. It's fine. You're right in the middle. You're good. We're perfect. <laughs> You can see the game, so you can be like Vanna White. You can point to the price, you can point to the game, and it's going to be perfect. <laughs> which way? Which yeah, way is the right yeah, way? Because everything's reversed. Who's the price this guy is? It's, it's going to get crazy in here today. But uh, Half-Life Alex. I mean, this is a $60 game normally, and still to me, one of the best games in VR that you can experience. I mean, for $35, bucks, it's not a game that very often goes on sale. Uh, I, I think we've seen it on sale maybe once or twice before, but if this is a game that you don't have yet... I highly, highly recommend picking it up. Even if you don't have PC VR yet, you know, if you just have a quest and you plan on getting a PC to be able to do PC VR, I think it's a great time to pick it up for 35 bucks. That way you have it. It's a game that, uh, I mean, it, I can't remember. I think it took me like, I can't remember how many hours, like 12 hours or something, 10 to 12 hours to get through the whole game, mm. I believe, uh, somewhere around there. So it's a pretty lengthy game. There's tons of uh, customization as far as uh, DLC, uh, what do you call that, workshop stuff, uh, custom oh, stuff of workshop, tons. And so, I mean, this is like almost a limitless game that keeps getting added to in some sense or another. So for the price tag of $35, I think this is a, a must have, as well as No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky as well Fallout as 30 4. bucks. Just have Fallout 4 for eleven ninety nine. Fallout 4 VR. Yeah. I mean, just insane. I mean, Payday 2, which is actually a port uh, to VR, which is pretty good. Me and Tyler used to play that quite a bit back in the day. It does have multiplayer. It's 99 cents. I mean, like, how can you even get a game for 99 cents? It doesn't even make sense. It's just, it's, it's crazy. 
So, I mean, Boneworks, uh, $23.99, 20% off. Pavlov, $14.99. Carnage uh, Chronicles. Yeah. Uh, I know some of you guys really, really enjoy that. I haven't actually managed to experience it yet with anyone, but I really do want to play it. Because uh, I, I did buy it, but I didn't really like it. And then I sort of realized that a lot of people are like, no, dude, you've got to play it yeah. with people when it's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, there's that for uh, 11. Well, it's 11 pounds my size. So it's probably like 15 yours. Uh, Stride, that's uh, Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that like too. Stride, dollars. what is that price right now? Uh, that is 11 pounds my end. So it's probably around okay. like 13, 14 dollars. Yeah, good deal. End. Good deal. I mean, so much as far as like car stuff, a set of Corsa, Dirt Rally 2. Dirt Rally 2.0 is $4.99. Uh, Project Wingman, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, which I'm wearing the shirt, is uh, 20% off, $31.99. Uh, Arizona Sunshine, super hot. I mean, the list, there's, I mean, there's just so much stuff on this list that I, I mean, we can't even list it all. You're just going to have to go <laughs> and look to see what. The Population One is on here as well. Yeah, basically. and I think po- there's also Oculus sales going on, and I think Population One, I don't know if it's still on sale. I know it was on sale, I believe, yesterday or the day before. And with Oculus, you always want to check the Quest Store and the Rift Store because a lot of games that are cross by, it'll be on sale on one platform, uh, not the other. That was a discussion going on in our Discord the other day. It was on sale on Quest and not on Rift, so you might as well pick it up on the Quest Store. It's cross by. Uh, so, I mean, it's, you got to watch some of that stuff with Oculus, but, uh, yeah, man. and let us know in chat, like, what is, what have you guys picked up? Like, what is the one standout thing that you guys uh, have picked up? I know gaming science teacher mentioned, uh, Subnautica, Wild Ox Studios, so oh, Pavlov, nice. No Man's Sky, uh, Chris 9989 said, is Fallout 4 worth it? Seems like mixed reviews on Steam. I, I definitely, especially on sale, I definitely think that it is worth it. I think, I don't know what the reviews are all like now, but I know for me, I originally played it on like a 1060. So performance wise, you do still have to have kind of a beefy PC to yeah, be able to, to really that. run that well. And I think yeah. that's probably where a lot of the mixed reviews come in because it is a really good game. They did a good job on the port. You know, it is an excellent game, but it is. I demanding. just don't think they, um, they optimized it. They probably haven't updated it for such a long time. It's one of those forgotten projects kind of thing. I think a little bit, I haven't seen any updates come for mine for ages. Yeah. Um, but also, I've just found the forest, oh, yeah. uh, which is brilliant. Again, there's a little bit of a learning mechanic to it. Uh, once you can figure out how to combine items and stuff in virtual reality, it's really great. And you yeah. can do it with friends. And it's six six pound nineteen here, which is probably around the eight nine dollar mark. And uh, again, optimization is a bit of a pain with it, but it's absolutely fantastic. Like really, really good. Definitely pick that up. That's yeah, such, for sure. Such good fun. Me and Tyler spent a decent amount of time in that. I mean, there, there's so much stuff. Virtual desktop. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, there's so, I don't even know how many games there are. There's a ton of them. I mean, I've been scrolling now for a while and it still keeps going. Deem, thing uh, is, I've got a lot of them. That's the thing. Yeah, like, me it, too. I really have. Oh, you, dude, Euro Truck Simulator 2 is £3.74, which must be around $5, $6.00. Is Your that like side. American Truck Simulator, but the Euro? Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, yeah. Tyler's been all about that. Sale. He keeps it's talking so about good. that. I have not so played good. it. I have to jump in there, I guess. Uh, Susan Cottrell uh, with a super chat. They're not popping up on this scene, but uh, she said, I understand migraines. I've had one for a while now myself. Yeah, Hopefully this doesn't last for three weeks. Oh, man, that sounds terrible. I, I've actually been fortunate enough to – I don't think I've ever had a migraine. You know, I've had bad headaches, but I know migraines are like – on another level. So I, I do feel bad for anybody that suffers from those. He, he suffers from them quite a bit. Uh, usually he can get them under wraps, you know, pretty quick, but this one seems to be kind of kicking his butt. So uh, hopefully he gets to feel feeling better today. Uh, Big show with a super chat says bone works better than half-life Alex. So he has the bone works with the half-life Alex. Uh, uh, I, I, those are both good games. I guess that's up to debate uh, person. You know, each person might feel a little bit differently about it. I, I like both. I've spent a decent amount of time in both. If I had to pick one personally, I think I would probably, probably pick half-life alex but i love boneworks too i mean how can you not love boneworks i would pick half-life alex especially for the workshop side of things like yeah. boneworks is a real i think boneworks is an essential vr experience yeah um, i do too i don't i don't think it's a great story or anything like that but it really those two games have actually caused people a lot of problems because a lot of games can't live up to that level of yeah, interaction right and depth and uh quality you know there is a real Real, real great quality about those games and the optimization of Half Life Alex. I've seen some yeah. people run that game on some uh, not fantastic rigs, and, and, it's and they're still happy with it. I mean, it, it is, is a gorgeous. gorgeous game, probably one of the prettiest games I've seen. I did want to mention Westworld Awakening too; is only five ninety nine, eighty percent off. So, yeah. I mean, it, there's just so much stuff. I really don't think you can pass up some of these sales. 
Valheim's on sale. I know it's not a VR game, but it is a VR mod, and I would heavily suggest yeah. people check it out. And, and they just tabs. updated that too, right? I think you you were playing that. Yeah, they added what was it? They added motion controls to it. Basically, yeah, and like it's got like an uh, now a VR menu as well. You know, so you can actually huh. like uh, pick items and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, again, performance isn't great, but it's the it's the potential. Well, you can play it now, um, but it's the potential of what's there and what they're doing. Uh, and I think where people go on about there's like a bit of a lull in PC VR content at the moment. You know, it's all about the quest and stuff like for me. And I think I said it in my video, the modding scene is like where people should be keeping their eyes on, you know, yeah. a bit more. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah. I totally agree. I mean, there's a huge potential in that. We see people that do it very, very well. You know, when those mods are done very well, it's a it's a huge thing for VR and, and a pool. You know, obviously, these are big name games that are going to pull people into VR that may have not heard of games like Boneworks and stuff. You know, it's not a regular game, a regular name you hear outside of uh, the VR world, really. But, but yeah, some good stuff. Uh, I didn't want to mention, too, uh, we talked about Hoverboard uh, a while back, and uh, we talked about it on the show. Kind of like a, a snowboarding-type game. Really cool. That one is also on sale for 70% off today, and I believe that makes it uh, $3.59. He actually messaged me on Twitter, uh, so I figured I would shout him out there if you want to check that out on Steam as well. And Oculus has a ton of sales going on. A lot of their sales right now are bundles. So especially if you're just getting into VR, it's a great way to pick up a bunch of games all at once, you know, with the discounted rate. Sometimes you save a little bit more buying them in the bundle than buying them all separate. Uh, so check those sales out as well. I don't have a, a list up here, but uh, the deal of the day today is Gorn for $12.99. So, I mean, there's <laughs> the Climb Pack, Casual Sports Pack, Fitness Fun Pack, Action Hero Pack, Ultimate Quest Pack, uh, and many more. So be sure to check them out. Yeah, but uh, so uh, you you played uh, uh, let me think of Stride. So we talked about Stride being on sale, and they just recently updated with a uh, multiplayer hmm. update that, and it's almost like it's like a zombie mode, but it's almost like an infected mode, right? Is that what it is? It's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah I was quite lucky to be invited into like an early testing thing with uh, Soul Fox Gaming, and um, I was a bit like. So basically, it's quite weird. The version they gave us wasn't the, even the released version. They were working on it to the minute, <laughs> literally to the minute. So after we made our video, they said, hold back on the video, guys. And then two hours later, uh, they went, there's a whole new version of it now anyway, but put your videos out. I was like, all right. Uh, it's basically tag, as you said, with right. infected mode. And it's, it's, uh, it's a great way to burn calories while having oh, yeah. such fun. Like you're screaming, dude. It's uh, it's great. And so um, yeah, I'm just really pleased. I think Joyway are really starting to make a name for himself. Yeah, I agree. I you really know? like their their uh, what's the uh, other upcoming game? I can't think against. of now. Yeah, against. I really yeah. like that. I'm actually a really big fan of that. I can't wait to see uh, more levels in that and stuff. That that game to me, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of music rhythm type games and stuff, and I like a lot of them. But that one just felt really cool i don't know i've played Dude, that quite a bit just the demo it literally did the things i wanted you got knuckle dusters you got guns you can chop off the wall heads running of giant snakes wall running like to me yeah it's it's brilliant yeah i absolutely loved it it, yeah. was, it was so good but i think they've also now changed the art style uh they showed like a video even though it wasn't actually the same update for the steam uh next fest because that's what i did i thought yeah. i'll make a video on this new art style because i thought the black and white or the noir with the red blood really stood out. Yeah. Um, and apparently not everyone liked it. So it looks like they've they've still kept everything quite vivid, uh, but it looks like they've got some like shaders and colors in there now. Yeah. A little bit and more. a little but bit different. Still... Like the character, the enemy character models looked a little bit different too. And, and the last thing that I yeah. saw. So they are making. I mean, obviously the demo was just uh, an early look into you know the game anyway. So I'm sure things are going to change actually as it actually progresses before it comes out but uh do you think that stride with this multiplayer update do you think they took some cues from uh gorilla tag with the popularity <laughs> of that game i've got no doubt yeah <laughs> i've got no doubt man because at the end of the day what they could have done is made it like uh a multiplayer with guns and they have because the game i don't think the game's even got a multiplayer right with guns you know there's not a thing where you run around and shoot each other or like in my mind if i'd have had a weaponized game like that it would have been something like i don't know shooting with like i don't know a stun gun and then tag them or something with weapons yeah. but it's not it's literally run around like nutters and yeah. tag each other and, i mean uh, yeah, and, so. and we have quite a bit of shooters anyway so doing some things differently like that sometimes i think can be kind of cool because i mean we have 
uh, there, there's no shortage of VR shooters. You know, that's a pretty popular genre, especially in the multiplayer scene. Oh, yeah. You know, so I mean, we have a lot of choices from that. And it's hard to compete, you know, with multiplayer shooters. There's the ones that are already very popular. So, you know, some of these newer ones come in and it's hard to sometimes compete. So I like uh, them doing things a little bit differently. So, and I think Stride is a cool game. It's a challenging game though. Like, I mean, it takes, it takes some practice to really get good at it to where you can really fluidly move, uh, through all the different, uh, mechanics and mechanisms that they have, uh, for movement and stuff, but it's, it's yeah, a cool so like, game. For example, you can't just press the button to jump. You've actually got to swing your arms forward yeah. to get the momentum for the bigger jumps. So yeah, you know, it could have been just a, a simple game, but it's not, it is, it's very good. It's quite satisfying. Yeah. And it, it's like you said, a good workout. Anytime you get moving like that in VR, and especially when you're in a multiplayer aspect where, you know, you have that tension of having to get away from people or getting to people. I mean, you're moving around so much that you don't realize the amount of effort and work you're putting into that until sometimes the next day when you wake up, like, why, why am I so sore? Like, what did I even do? <laughs> you know? And then you're like, oh yeah. And you remember all I that. I swear, movement. man, the only game that made me feel like that was Thrill of the Fight. Oh, and, and, that's and, killer and game. back at the, yeah, like literally, I, th- I don't know if it just come out or something, but I thought to myself, this would be a great game to cover today. But I didn't put myself on camera because what I think I'd done, I'd been to the gym and I looked a bit of a state and I'd already like preloaded the video, like the, the live stream. So I thought, I've got to go live anyway. <laughs> and I played it for an hour and a half. And honestly, I remember finishing and my wife looked at me and she went, oh my God. Like, it looked like I'd been in the shower. Yeah. It was oh, crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it, it was amazing. I can't wait for the second one for Thrill of the Fight 2. That is what, because I mean, Thrill of the Fight was an early game and it's still, in my opinion, the best boxing game, you know, hand to hand fighting game out there. I mean, I like Creed and stuff like that, but for some reason, Thrill of the Fight has just always felt <laughs> better to me. I don't know why, but. I just looked at Brad, Brad Blam Crutch. He said, run around like nutters. Does that mean crazy people? Yes, it does. <laughs> Yes, it does. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, gaming science teacher said, oh, hey, a hidden sale is, uh, how do you say that? Arcaxer? It's actually on sale on itch, but you can get a quest key. So that's pretty cool. Didn't know that. Yeah, no. So, I mean, there's even some sales going on that aren't on the quest uh, or Oculus store steam sale. I mean, there's just so much stuff going on. I guess uh, summertime, they try to get you uh, to keep playing games. Cause as the weather gets nicer, you know, a lot of us head outside and there's a lot more going on in the summertime. So I guess a summer sale uh, kind of makes sense, but uh, it we'll... definitely makes sense dude. like co- like uh, lockdowns are lifting all over yeah. the place. People are starting to want to go out and, uh, and enjoy themselves rightly. So, so right. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if for this sure. pulls people back into VR for a little bit, then that's great for vr but uh yeah go out (laughs) (laughs) everybody needs to get out sometime too vr is awesome but we definitely need some uh some vitamin d some sunshine you know some great weather i'm a big fan of summertime Uh, tyler needs that he needs that d in him (laughs) (laughs) oh boy So, uh, so moving on <laughs> last week, uh, me and Tyler talked quite a bit about all the ad stuff, uh, that was going on, uh, with the quest and the Oculus store and blast on being the test bed for that. And we, we did get an announcement from blast on after that, that they are not going to be running the ads test in blast on any longer due to the, uh, kind of community outpouring of not wanting that essentially. So they are, from what I hear, they're going to move that to bait. And which makes more sense because bait is a free game. So it makes more sense than putting it in a blast. Now, what are your thoughts just real quick on the whole ad stuff uh, that Oculus is planning to do? Basically, I, ba- I put out a tweet straight away that uh, looking at the mobile market, that's what you should go about this. If the game is free and then you run it and you choose to click an ad to earn like in-game currency and stuff, that's cool. The example they used for Blast On was a sandwich company, I think in America. and it was, <laughs> And that's my problem with it. That is my biggest problem, actually, is you're going to kill immersion. Like, why would you have... I mean, you might have Subway in the year 3000 or whatever year, Blast and right, Set. Right, right. <laughs> but at the end of the day, this this sandwich company, our person never heard of, just sitting there. I don't think I have either. I can't remember what it was, but I remember seeing it, and I didn't I didn't recognize it. So It just looked out of place, dude. And, yeah. But the only thing I did like about it is, like, you know, if you wanted to see that, then you clicked on it, and it come into another window, blah, blah, blah. But... At the end of the day, virtuality for me, it's got to be done right, you mm-hmm. know, because VR, what makes VR special is the fact that you leave the real world mm-hmm. and you go somewhere else and you're, you know, like to then chuck elements of the real world in there in not a clever style is a bit poor. 
yeah. you know that then and that's my uh take on it but there we go yeah i, I mean I, I agree i think there's a tasteful way to do ads in vr you know we, me and tyler got into kind of a deep discussion about this on the last episode if you missed that but i think there's a tasteful way to do ads i think uh putting things like just for example coke can you know if you wanted to advertise coke in a game you know like pop one population one make the uh sodas that you run around and grab and pop sodas for health make that a coke can you know that to yeah, me exactly. is a little bit less intrusive you don't notice it as much but it would still work i think advertising moving forward is probably going to change a lot now that vr is around and i think there's a good way to do it you know not pop up ads and things to click to take you to a website and stuff i just i don't i don't like all that but it always makes more sense to put it in a free game you know the the fact that resolution games is not going to do it in blast on anymore they're going to do it in bait I'm, I'm way more okay with that because it is a free game people didn't spend money to buy that game to then have to look at ads and stuff in the game so it makes more sense i mean and i still think if facebook in the end is an advertising company we're gonna have to see where they take this we're gonna have to see where it goes but uh and michael I'm Fedler, it's happening i'm got i'm guided that that vr is the experimentation for this you know because like i'm gutted that Facebook are the ones like I'm, I'm really pleased with fa what Facebook has done because yeah. of Oculus and everything that's going on. But I just wish this was left alone. You know, yeah. I wish this was uh, not the case the Facebook logins and the ads and right. stop get, using people as guinea pigs, man. I mean, the only good thing is it's a developer's choice. Yeah. As I hope far it stays as I know, that it's way. a developer's choice. If it's a developer's choice, then we're good. I think yeah. we're going to be good. I, I, and I agree. I hope that it stays that way. They I hope they keep it in the hands of the developers. I hope that someday they don't just make it, uh, you know, operating system side where it just happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I yeah. don't want to see happen. I, I think uh, the developers are, are better minded to control that kind of thing. I would rather have it in their hands uh, than Facebook I don't get itself. why they didn't put it on like a billboard in the home menu. Like that to me made yeah. more sense. Yeah. You know, why not? You know, like ads in a day or I don't know, whatever. You know? Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, Michael Fedler with a super chat that came in, he said, Tyler's Tylenol fund. <laughs> so yeah, he might need some, uh, some extra Tylenol today. I know he took some stuff this morning and hoping to kick it before the show, but it just didn't happen. So, but, uh, I have a feeling he'll be, he'll be back next week. But, uh, did you play the, uh, the blast on update that came out this past week? I've mate, honestly, I'm really sorry, but this week's just been a bit of a riot. Oh yeah. I know you me. said your wife's yeah. been sick and stuff. So I yeah. actually did hop into this for a little bit. Uh, and, and it's actually pretty cool. One of the things that I really liked about it is the fact that, you know, well, for one, it has a single player mode now where you can play, uh, an AI bot and they're pretty good. I played against them. They're pretty good. And, uh, in between, what, is it like boss fights? It, yeah, yeah. So you build it, yeah. up to kind of a boss fight in the end, uh, and that's essentially what the goal is. But there, the cool thing that I thought about it was that you were actually able to roam around the streets a little bit in between those kind of battles and the scenes. And you can collect coins, so you can get coins that are hidden around in those scenes. And they're really, really cool, you know, cyberpunk, futuristic-looking kind of scenes that you can uh, scroll through and kind of walk around and collect coins to upgrade your stuff. And there's also mini games in there. So I came up on, like, an arcade machine where I was actually able to put one of the coins that were in my wrist. And you can see it right here, actually, in the video when you put it in. Uh, and then you can play arcade machines. Uh, there's, like, kind of, like, lobbies in there with, like, this is, like, a disco-themed one with a multiplayer multiplayer. Uh, people being in there so it's a pretty cool update and uh, they they announced you know that they weren't going to do the ad run in this right before this update came out and they said you know hopefully people will still check out the update and uh i definitely recommend so did, checking it out did anyone see the ads did you see the ads so i never experienced it well they because right. they canceled the ads were actually the test was supposed to happen later this year uh and they did cancel that but when you go in now you can actually where they were going to put it uh, there is like a resolution games board and there's a B haptics board. And some people were like, Oh, there's B haptics is advertising in there. And they said, <laughs> no, like this isn't an advertisement. They're just a partner. You know, we threw their name up there because, uh, they're a partner with us, you know, that we have B haptics support or whatever it is. And, but that was, though, that's just going to be people being angry about anything. Right. And, you yeah. know, like that's the problem. And once again, quick reminder, storm in the cup community is still small, still tight, you know, like people outside of our bubble, won't even know this is going on. Right, probably, right, right. You know? And I mean, obviously the community has some pull in all of this because of the outlash and the things people, you know, were not happy about and reaching out to resolution games and stuff, you know, that obviously changed uh, their opinion on what they were going to do. So that's good that they've listened to the community. I mean, I have respect for resolution games anyways. I think they're great uh, developers and, and great studio, but obviously, listen, I mean, there was a lot of blasting them on, 
you know, the reviews and stuff, which I don't know if that was necessarily the best way, but that, I mean, that was how people decided to reach out and voice their opinion. So I, I don't know. I mean, that, that obviously something worked. I don't know what it was exactly, but yeah. But I like the game. I think the game is a great game, honestly, and I, I highly recommend picking it up. I recommend checking out this update. It's great fun with people as well, just a 1v1 kind of a uh, tournament against them. And uh, we do have a code to give away here too. Somebody can grab that. This is an Oculus gift code, so you do have to enter this in as a gift code for Blast On. Mm. But. So, yeah, I don't know. So let's see. Oh, I got something in front of my monitor here. It said, uh, but or something said uh, money talks. If they lose sales, then ads won't help any, which is true. I mean, it, it, the the ads aren't going to do any good if nobody's buying the game, right? I mean, if nobody buys the game, nobody's going to see the ads. So, I mean, yeah, money does talk. And I mean, the other the other thing is they've got a responsibility to the people who already pre bought the game. You pre you bought the game already without ads. So, really, do existing games should existing games have them? I don't know, you know, because then. It's, I, I think it's on Twitter again. I'm always on Twitter. I think like um, I think I said something like, uh, if you're doing a review of a game now, will it be has this game got edges or no? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, moving forward, especially with new games coming out, I think that it needs to be very clear. You know, before yeah. you buy this game, like, hey, this game has ads, or this game does not have ads, or will not include ads, or whatever. So I think you know part of it is just being very clear in the expectations of what you're paying your money for, or if it's a free game, whatever it is, I think it needs to be clear on the store site going forward, you know, what to expect. And I still think there's going to be a tasteful way to do ads and a non tasteful way to do ads. So hopefully, you know, they, they pick the the more tasteful route. Uh, Paradise Decay said, I spoke to Guy from Virtual Desktop fame and asked him if he would accept $5 million to have a Facebook ad in his program. And he said, no, never. <laughs> so uh, Guy's probably, he, he's probably a standout <laughs> person that uh, he... Uh, Five million? Yeah. <laughs> Five million? Not being funny, mate. I mean, Jesus, five, million really? is, five million is a lot of money. Five million? But so, yeah, I don't know. He he, he might be an exception to that rule. I think most people may may accept that $5 million. I think uh, they would for an ad. I'll be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. Yeah, five million. So. Uh, Hussein X said, is Tyler banned on the show because he doesn't have a beard yet? <laughs> That's actually the real reason he's not here. We did ban him. Uh, he refused to grow a beard for right now, so... Uh, yeah, we had to cut him out, but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think this blast on update is a pretty good update. Uh, I definitely, if you haven't played in a while, I recommend hopping back in to check that out and uh, see the update. And a lot of people don't <laughs> like multiplayer either. So that's a great aspect as well. <laughs> what happened? This is what I'm saying. Like 5 million, 5 million, right? <laughs> that's, that's a stupid, insane number. <laughs> like, let's give you real for a second. Right. And then you've got Chris 9989. He said, <laughs> I'd get a Facebook tattoo for 5 million. <laughs> Like, yeah, on, yeah. I mean, five million dollars is a crazy amount of money. <laughs> I think they add like one millimeter by one millimeter. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. And I think yeah. Aspen Darkfire makes a good point. He said, "I think you'd have to know his net worth before asking a question." So I think that does make a difference. Uh, like for me, five million dollars is a huge, crazy amount of money. So there, there's probably a lot of bad decisions I would make for five million dollars. I would have to imagine, <laughs> right? <laughs> a lot of bad decisions. <laughs> I love it. Oh it. man, that's good stuff. Imagine that Facebook are like, what we do? We get Tyler to put Facebook on his forehead for five million, <laughs> and then you just sit in there like nothing's happened. You just got Facebook across your head. Oh man, <laughs> that that might be a bit extreme. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, <laughs> guys, in here too. He, he's in here. He said, "I hate ads." What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> so five million dollars ain't gonna cut it for him. But uh, I mean, hey, respect, They're respectful. You know, you're standing your ground. You, I mean, money. Money isn't everything, that's for sure. So standing your ground sometimes is more important. But man, $5 million, a lot of money. Anyways, <laughs> so, but uh, I did want to mention as well, uh, I've talked quite a bit about these things. These are the engineered AF clip-on headphones uh, for the Oculus Quest 2. And they have them for the Quest 1, I believe, as well. But these just came back in stock. These have been out of stock for a long time, since like before Christmas. So they just recently got these back in stock. If you've been wanting these, I definitely recommend picking them up now and not waiting because I don't know how long they will last. But uh, these are what I, I run on my Quest all the time. I have them on there right now. Uh, these, if you've used the CV1, a Rift CV1, it sounds exactly the same. That's the kind of sound that you're going to get out of these things. It's the same drivers, the Cost Porter Pro uh, drivers, 
And I've had them on there for a long time. They, they've held up great so far. They are adjustable up and down. They click out like they sh you can see in the picture there for putting the headset and stuff on. Uh, one of my favorite ways to do it, I'm not a big fan of the over-ear headphones while I'm playing VR. Uh, if the inboard, the built-in audio isn't good enough for you, I highly recommend these. What, what do you usually run audio-wise? You, uh, you use headphones over top, right? Uh, if I'm streaming yeah. and that means I have to loop my sound back to myself, then yeah, I use the uh, Logitech Astro A50s. But I'm actually a real big fan of like the uh, the no earphone thing. I love that. Oh, yeah. I, I do. I don't want like, like I've used the index. I've used the stuff. It's great because you've got that extra bass and stuff. Definitely. But I love that spatial audio in a way. You know, I do. I like all that. And and the fact that that's one of the best things about the Quest is that you don't need to share earphones with people. You just put the headset on like right. a hat. That. Well the quest two as well at least to me the quest two sounds quite a bit better than the quest one audio wise i think i think the sound quality is just a little bit better of the built-in audio and some people that that's they're perfectly fine with that and i've actually i haven't played that way in a long time because i always have these on my headset but when i went back to ohio last weekend these don't fit in my case so i take these headphones off and i just take the headset itself uh when i go out of town and so i was playing it that way without the uh the uh headphones on there and, and it, i actually forgot how good it actually yeah, does I'm sound it actually it, sounds man, pretty honestly, good but, I'm, yeah. I'm, i've always been happy with it you know uh but yeah that's probably why i don't promote anything like that because i think that i don't that's the only thing that I wouldn't use. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, know it's an option. It to each their option, own. But... Yeah. Everybody's different. I mean, that's yeah. the thing with VR. Everybody prefers something different, but uh, I personally love these things. They, they definitely have more bass, you know, that richer sound. And I like, yeah. I mean, I don't like necessarily having something on my ears, but I like the, the better sound that you can get from some other things. And these don't put a lot of pressure on my ears or anything. I've had some other ones that are not very comfortable and I'm still looking forward to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the index style headphones that are coming from rebuff reality. Hopefully, hopefully next month is what they're saying. So uh, I do have those on order. Hopefully be checking those out, but I'm a big fan of the index audio to me. Index audio hands down is still to me, the best audio out there. I love, I love that audio and I love that it is off ear. do not touch your ear. So yeah, but if yeah. you've been wanting these, I know we've talked a lot about these people vast about them. They are back in stock. Link is in the description. If you want to pick these up, cause I don't know how long they'll last, but uh, I'm a big fan of these. So so sure. um, GC, the Diet Pepsi Cat, GC13, uh, she's on everyone's channel. She's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, she works with Skydance. She's put, I've mentioned this before, but if developers were in control of the ad placement in the game, it could be cool. Right now, we use fake names for real products. Exactly what you're saying. You look down at your feet, you've got a pair of Nikes on. Right. You know what I mean? You eat a burger. It's unfortunately from McDonald's, you know, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's exactly what we're saying. And Artful just come out with something. He, where did he, he put... VR sounds better with a beard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can't argue. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how much longer mine's going to last, though. I keep saying that, but, man, it is it is hot. When it, when you have this much stuff. got to that point where it's got a consciousness and it's trying to escape. It's <laughs> yeah. like the beard wants to leave. It's like, right. I'm, and when you get this much stuff you now, on mate. your face and it's 100 degrees outside, it's it's not always enjoyable. But in winter, dude, if you in winter, you'll be able to wrap it around your neck. Yeah, right. right. A scarf. Built-in scarf. Dude, <laughs> why don't you part it at the moment like curtains, put it behind your ears, oh and goodness. then in winter, put it around your neck. <laughs> multi-use uh, multi purposes for sure. Exactly. <laughs> um, have you seen this uh, chess club that is coming out uh, for the quest? Is there two chess games going on? Because I'm here, like, someone was talking about a chess game the other day, and they wanted to play it with me, and I didn't get time, as I said, this week's been a write-off. And then I saw this one advertised on twitter so is there one on like app lab or is there one on sidequest and there's this one coming out i'm not sure yeah. maybe somebody in, in chat can let us know because I, I don't know of another one but i would not be surprised at all if there is another one out there uh especially with app lab sidequest stuff i mean there's so much content i have a really hard time keeping up with everything that comes out uh th this is the official one that is coming to the official quest store but i'm sure there is Looks probably good. something else, Looks but good. yeah, it does look good. The thing that I like about it just right off the bat is the environments. You know, the environment looks really cool. Uh, if anything I've learned from Demio is a sit down board game kind of a thing can be an absolute blast in VR way better than I ever expected. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that it hasn't, it's not right away, but in the future, I guess they're actually going to have a mode that is actually going to teach you how, <clears throat> how to play chess. Uh, they're going to have chess school is basically what they're calling it. Upcoming Dude, lessons. I haven't got a clue. Like my wife could not believe it. I was like, because whoever asked me to play it, 
I said, I can do, but I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. And my wife was like, you must know how to play chess. I was like, why would you assume that? Why would you assume that I know how to play chess? I've never been near a chessboard. Yeah, I mean, I've played it as a kid, like a little bit, but I don't remember it all uh, much about how to play. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to need some refresher courses. And it's not, I mean, I don't think chess is a game that everybody knows how to play. Like, I think something like checkers or something like that, you know, is a lot more common. Yeah, so hopefully they, I do hope they get some more modes other than just chess, but I think this could be a very cool thing uh, to do in VR. And even you see, you know, the other board with the moving characters and stuff on it. I think, I think these kind of games is the the potential of these games are just now starting to catch on. You know, I've talked about Uno wanting Uno in VR and I don't know if you know what that is. Uh, Yeah. Okay. You do. So I love Uno. I've always been a big fan of Uno. I used to, I mean, play yeah, I play it in real life. I've played it in, I used to play it on Xbox. You could play Uno and Xbox back in the day. I used to play that. Uh, so if we could get something like that in VR, I still really want that. But I think this has some pretty big potential. I do hope for more modes, but I think what they're doing is pretty cool, especially with the classes. I think that when it comes to VR, you know, I think the learning abilities that you have using VR to learn new things is phenomenal. And I think just like this is going to be an example yeah, sure. to be able to take this and to learn the game of chess inside VR while having fun, you know, an interactive way to learn than somebody just telling you what to do. You know what I mean? Like it can, there's so many things oh, that yeah. it can use as aids to help you remember and visual things. I think it's a, a great, fantastic learning uh, platform. So looking at your, your chat again, John Westra, he says, reminds him of Harry Potter, Wizard Chess. Absolutely. Uh, following on from that, uh, someone said, I'd love Star Wars. Yeah, man. Like those, those holo- like holographic board there in the Millennium Falcon. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I mean, <laughs> we always say this, but with the, the possibilities of VR, there's so many endless possibilities of things you can do and different things that would be really cool. And even for a chess game, I mean, there's endless possibilities just to even make chess cooler. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Diet Pepsi guy said, Uno VR would be terrific, especially with animating the attack cards. Yeah. I mean, Oh, oh, somebody's got to do it. I actually, who's the owner of Uno? I can't remember if it's Mattel or one of those companies. I actually emailed them a long time ago, trying to see if I could get them on board with making an Uno game or giving the rights. Like I told him, you know, Uh, We have some relationships with developers. Like I can hook you up with these developers, somebody that can make the game, you know, you can work together and they never responded, unfortunately. I just think to myself, there's so much like for me personally, I'd love Transformers chess. If they're going to do like the action bits and stuff of them fighting, like I'd love all that. That that would put me in chess. Like if you said Transformers is in chess, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm doing it right now. I'm going to learn the game. And I'm probably going to get my ass kicked uh, all the time. But- <laughs> Absolutely. Me too. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll definitely check this out and hopefully take some classes maybe, or even jump on with somebody. I know Wolf Raza, I think in our discord said he's a, a big chess player. He knows how to play chess pretty well. And I'm sure he'd be willing to teach people. So definitely, yeah, I'll definitely check that out. I don't know. I mean, it's, this isn't a game that I'm crazy excited about, but it's a game that I'm excited about the potential of what it kind of can do. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, how big of a fan of you of Demio? Demio, massive fan. <laughs> oh, I love it. I cannot wait. I love rat it. Rat King. Rat King. Look at this ugly rat thing. <laughs> it's ugly so too. So ugly. Oh, man. It's so Can't good wait. though. It's a game that is. it just totally took me by surprise. I was excited for it and then I played it and it's like, holy crap, this is so awesome. The more I played it, you know, the more I learned different tricks and techniques and it's just such a fun game to sit around with some friends and play. It is, it is yeah. a whole area of vr that is kind of untapped you know we're starting to see more of that even with chess we're starting to see some more kind of board games or some stuff on app lab you know some really good stuff that's coming out uh this is the realm of the rat king this is the next book so basically this game has books that are coming out that are a whole uh, new realm of playing the game technically i mean it's like you have you know the first one that you know you work through that whole system of getting to the last level getting to the boss you know and then you can keep playing that over and over but it's the same storyline essentially so these are going to be new storylines you know with new backstories uh and this is coming out june 28th at 8 a.m pacific time so whatever your relative time is that is when this is coming out uh and this is a free update so that all of i don't know if all of these but all the ones that they have planned right now are all going to be free updates to the game as which, far as i know all future content is free yeah yeah that's 
as far as I know, too, I just don't want to say that for sure in case they ever want to come out with something that's paid and be like, well, you said it was all going to be free. So, that's yeah. about, you, you just pass it on what they said. So <laughs> right. It'll be on them if they change it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in this, uh, a couple things about this, you know, obviously you can see in the, in the video here showing some of the stuff that is going to be part of the update. It is taking place in like a sewer level. So it is, you know, kind of a grungy, dirty, down in the sewer kind of a, a environment. Uh, there are going to be three new cards. So the three new cards are going to be a web bomb, uh, which explodes and entangles multiple enemies. Uh, the antitoxin, which poison will not affect you. And the torch, uh, this will improve your vision or light up an area. So those are the three new cards you're going to get. There are no new heroes in this update. So you're still going to have the four heroes that you had in the original book. And they said that there are going to be heroes in the future, future updates. There will yeah. be heroes. There won't be any in this one, but did you see the artwork of some of the heroes they got planned? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen some teaser oh, stuff, like some God. early artwork stuff. Uh, I mean, I think they can do some incredible, incredible things because even the four heroes that you have, you know, they're all very different in their capabilities. And there you go. I think you can see this is one of the new enemies. It's yeah, that's the new. Yep, yep. So that's on the board too. That's one of the new enemies, oh, the Gorgon. Dude, look at that. It's right on now. It's, on it's funny though. Right they now. spelled it differently it's in the book to what they spelled it in this video. In the book, it had an H. In the video, it doesn't have an H. I just noticed. Yeah, I don't that. know why the H is there, but yeah. yeah kind of interesting maybe they changed their mind uh yeah but those are the two new two new enemies so the spore fungus and the gorgon which i'm i'm guessing the spore the uh spore fungus is going to be kind of like the spider eggs uh and stuff like that something that's going to be a stationary object that kind of opens up and you know fungus flies around or whatever it may be uh some other changes that they're making is the coin flip have you ever won a, a game of with the coin flip on the boss funny enough someone mentioned that today in a chat to me and i I think we might have, yeah. I think that's how we did finish the game. Yeah. I can't remember on my video. I can't remember. So I've it, won. I think I've won think one with a coin flip. I think one because it's a fifty-fifty shot, basically, of, of ending it right there on a coin yep. flip. And they are changing that, so the coin flip will no longer affect the bosses. The bosses will be immune to the coin flip, which. I mean, I kind of understand it, it did take away from the, the game a little bit in a sense because it could be over that quick, which the boss fights are some of the most uh, tense, you know, pressure filled fights of the game. So, I mean, but it is also kind of cool when somebody hits that coin flip and you're like, yes, it's over. But uh, uh, Aspen Darkfire just uh, bought us a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Thank you for that. He Aww. actually bought us one last week, too, and we didn't have that scene set up to pop up in the uh, thing during the stream since we were at Tyler's house, but uh, thank you. Was that the Oculus noise I just heard then? Yep, you recognize that. It was yeah, funny, yeah. the first time we ever did that, we put that sound and we said, you know, who can be the first person to guess what that sound is from? And it didn't take long. I so did I, I, oh, I thought I had one saying. No, I, was, I actually thought for a second my headset came on. <laughs> I was sitting, I was like, why have I, it shouldn't have happened. See, that, yeah. it, it's subliminal. It's just like advertising. There's things that happen subliminally <laughs> in your like, mind. Right. And you just, yeah, something happens and you instantly think of something. So that's just like that sounds. <laughs> I love coin flips, dude. I, I actually, I was doing a coin flip on my children this morning. Who's going to do the washing up and drying up? There you go. Like, I love a coin flip. Yeah, coin flips are flip. awesome. So, and Wolf Raza everything. just said his son, I think it was his son that actually did the coin flip and won that round uh, when I was playing with him the one time. I do believe that's who that was. So, yeah, and they're also, so a lot of people have been wondering about the Rift Store build of the game that was supposed to come out that has not hit the Rift Store. That is supposed to hit the Oculus Rift Store right around the time of this update. So, right around June 28th, they said it could be a couple days later, depending on the approval process with Oculus. So, hopefully, that will be coming, and I do believe it is cross by as well. So if you already have it on the Quest Store, you'll get it on Rift as well. But yeah, I think that's uh, most of the updates from this game. I am extremely excited though because oh, hell yeah. I, I love the game, but I haven't been playing it the past couple weeks just because I played it so many times that it's like okay, I'm ready for something a little bit different. Even though things change as you play that one book over and over, it's still essentially the same thing. So I'm looking forward to going back in, seeing some new enemies, seeing some new levels. Uh, it, it's going to be fun. So I'm sure this coming week, uh, hit, hit us up. I mean, on the discord or whatever, if you're looking to play, I know a lot of people are wanting to play this even, even still, I get a lot of people saying, Hey, let's jump in, uh, uh jump into this game in Demio. And, and a lot of times it's like, man, I don't have two hours to set aside right now. You know what I mean? But yeah. oh, it's such a good game. Did they so. add the save game feature in the end or not? They, they, they're working on that. So that is one of the things yeah. that they said is coming is a cloud, uh, save feature that they don't have any update of when that's going to be, but it is coming. So, uh, Wolf Raza, thank you, sir. He said doing my part, however small my part is. 
and then he said oh, wait but yeah. uh yeah but thank it you it all makes a difference yeah thank you and you really don't have to do that either like don't ever you know put yourself in a position just to donate or anything like that it's really really not necessary but we really much very much appreciate him in this community awesome awesome community so yeah hit, hit me up for sure this week i know i'm gonna be playing this uh, i'm sure you're probably gonna be jumping into this as well hopefully your wife is your wife all better now or is she still she's still sick now uh she, well she uh well try and make it quick basically uh the shingles uh attacks her nerves mm. so what it did was it was given a abdominal and back pain but uh. like stabbing pains so i didn't know how bad it was because it looked like a rash and then this happened and i was like and on the Monday, I was going to go to work, and literally she couldn't actually bend over to pick something up. She was crying, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like, oh, I did not. Terrible. Yeah, because you know she's really quite strong. You know, she yeah. she wouldn't ever moan about stuff. So it's the bad thing about yeah. life, you just never know when something's going to hit you. I mean, I was sick quite. I mean, real sick. You know, beginning of this year, it's just terribly not fun. And it's just uh, it's the bad thing about life. You just never know. I mean, you gotta you gotta live it up because you never know when something could you know come along that's not so fun. So you gotta enjoy enjoy it all for sure. But hopefully yep. she does get to feeling all all better. Yeah, all back things to are getting better. Though. Things are definitely getting better. So yeah, yeah. that's Thank good you. news. Good news. So and hopefully Tyler's headache will go away too. <laughs> His migraine. But uh, <laughs> did, did you see? So have you ever done? I'm sure. You, I don't know if you have the void. Have you done any of the void stuff? The void. The void is like, like the uh, location based uh, VR stuff. They have all kinds right. of. So, so they're like the top tier of experiences for, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it an arcade. You know, they have all different kinds of experiences in the void that you can do where you're actually physically walking around, you know, with VR and a backpack. Uh, they have wow, heat yeah, elements, yeah, yeah. wind elements. Some I haven't experienced it yet. I really, really want to. There's none close to me. Next time I go somewhere on a vacation, if there's one close, I'm going to do it for sure. But Are these the, the ones with Far Cry and stuff? Is that Void? Yeah, or? I think that's the Void too, I believe, yeah. Right. So, did I miss a couple Super Chats here? Okay. Uh, Arthur Knox, he just said they need to uh, give player-created stories like D&D. What do you all think? Talking about Demio. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've actually, I'm not a Dungeons & Dragons player. I, I've never played the game. So that's what, one of the reasons I didn't think I was going to like Demio as much as I did. I've actually have no experience with that game. But uh, do you have you? Do you know what it is, right? So when I was a kid, yeah, I spent a lot of my time mostly you can't afford certain computer games and stuff like that. And I always used to spend time just in shops looking at artwork and uh, looking at boxes and other people playing games. And I remember doing that with like World of Warcraft or mm -hmm. not World of Warcraft, uh, Warhammer. Sorry. Oh, okay. Looking at all the figures, all the stuff. I've never played it, but I've always wanted to. I, like, I've always thought, oh, wow, it looks amazing. Same as like, um, like as you said, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and when I watched Stranger Things, it reminded this game reminded me of that sequence because when you go into Demio, it is set in like a basement, kind yeah. of very similar to uh, Stranger Things. You know, you've got the couch, the TV, which you can all walk around as well. You can all walk around, even look. It looks like you could leave the the basement. Right, the stairs. So, yeah, there's the stairs. Yeah, right. I thought that was a brilliant touch, yeah. man. I thought that was really. So is that good. what he? So he says. Uh player created stories so i guess that's like player created almost like a workshop kind oh, i remember of the books i remember i used to read a lot of the books that were like the ones where you had multi-choice you know and yeah. you could like yeah yeah yeah. maybe i don't know yeah i'm not sure exactly what it meant. but even even the areas like you're talking about that basement area even that would be cool to have you know multiple different areas or player created workshop stuff where they're even yeah. if they're not changing the game just changing the setting that you're in you know sitting around and stuff i think would be really cool uh susan cottrell with a five dollar super chat said hit the like button so she's reminding everybody to smash that like button paradise the case said gt can't see me but hope his wife gets better soon with the super chat so thank you to everyone as well who's yeah. saying stuff PD. so thank you very much he's the man so uh the reason i was talking about the uh void stuff is because they have something new coming out and it's called jump which well, there's not a ton of information yeah. about this yet but man this has me very very intrigued uh, essentially what this is is like a wingsuit simulator is what it is and i don't know all of the aspects of how they're going to do this yet but i'm assuming you know that you put on the helmet which is actually vr headset built into that and they're going to have you well you kind of see a little bit there some kind of a rigging system where you literally jump off a platform and <laughs> you're hooked up to cables but it's going to feel just like you're jumping out of an airplane or, or whatever it is you know which a lot of people want to experience but don't do it because of the fear of you know something happening you know fear of death fear of your parachute not opening so yeah. you get to experience that but without the the fear that comes along with that yeah but I, not, I don't want to say no fear because you're still gonna have fear when you're jumping off that platform 
and you have a headset on and it, that's still got to be scary. Have you like, have you ever played like the fall thing with a friend, you know, where you fall backwards and you trust your friend is going to catch you the trust thing. I have, I, yes. I mean, that's super scary, right? Even though, you know, the person's going to, well, at least you hope the person's going to catch you, you know, it's still a scary feeling that drop of falling back and not knowing exactly what's going to happen. And that this is going to give you that feeling as well. You know, if you're standing on a platform, you have a VR headset, you can't see what's beneath you you know, in the real world, but you're going to take that leap of faith and jump off and then you're just flying. And I think that is going so, to be one of the coolest feeling things I think out there. One of the, one of the funny things I went to EGX, like I, I, since I've been doing the channel, I always go to EGX um, and at EGX Res, which is basically like an indie event in London. Um, you get some big names there as well, but a lot of them indie was a bungee jump VR experience. Huh. And you did yeah. that? I didn't know. I didn't <sighs> have time, but <sighs> I remember it being there. And I kind of thought, oh, that looks pretty cool. And when I started hearing about Jump, I automatically thought, oh, I wonder if it's the yeah. same guys. But no, this is something completely different. But either way, both of them would be great, you know, if you could just somehow make that happen. Yeah, I mean, being able to be suspended like that and that feeling of almost weightlessness, you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm sure they're going to have different aspects, like the fans blowing on you, hot, cold, you know, mm. whatever it is. I mean, they're going to try to trick as many as your senses as they can. And starting out, so this is going to be, let me see where I have that down, uh, the locations. Oh, man, I don't know if, uh, where that is. But I, I believe the locations were New Jersey... I'm sure they can Google. You can yeah. Google uh, where it they are. It was New Jersey and somewhere else that the, the base uh, locations where they're starting out with. And I can't find it now. But uh, I'm pretty sure one was New Jersey and I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, it's supposed to come out sometime in 2021. So sometime this year is when they're planning on having this available. And you can actually book now. You can book sessions, and I think you get a discounted rate for doing it early. Uh, if you oh, go to nice. limitlessflight.com, that's where you can get more info and actually book these things. So, I mean, this is one I, I really, really, really want to try. Did you get uh, John Wester's Super Chat? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, so he, he I did see that. We were talking. Uh, he sent a $10 Super Chat. Thank you for that with a uh, pirate flag. Pirate flag. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I always get my farmers and pirates. They're so closely, you know. Can you do any pirate wars? Oh, no, no. I, I'm not. I, I am definitely not a good at just any do what, impressions. Just do a pirate noise. Do what? Do a pirate noise. Me? Of some sort. Yeah. Arr, you gotta do that. Arr, arr, arr. Arr. <laughs> He's super chatted. You gotta do a pirate noise. <laughs> He's paid uh, you. It's good stuff. Good stuff. So, yeah, if I get the chance, I'm definitely gonna be doing this. Hopefully, hopefully, at some point. That'd time, be a great video, awesome. dude. That'd be a great video. Yeah, I think I think the potential for this kind of stuff is huge. And I think th these are the kind of experiences that location based stuff need to focus on, because especially moving forward, you know, more and more people are going to get VR headsets in their house, you know, so th they need to be able to go somewhere and experience something that they can't do in their house very easily. Yeah. And if and if they put out this application or this game to where we can actually get this and not have to be in the location, like buy it. I'm totally going to set up a rig because Tyler already has a bungee rig that he uses. It's like a, uh, uh like, sweet? no, 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 not, not, oh. not quite that. <laughs> I mean, <Yeah. laughs> it's like, a, it's like a workout thing or whatever. It's some kind of bungee. He did it like a, uh, a thing with pistol whip back in the day when that first came out using that and like he can bounce all around, but you'd have to change it up a little bit so that you don't, cause I told him like, I was like, why don't you do like a face plant in there? And he's like, dude, I can't do it. It's too scary. Like, even though, the way it's rigged up, you wouldn't actually hit the ground. But I was like, I was like, dude, I'll do it. When I go over there, I'm gonna do a face plant in it. So I got all rigged up in this thing. I couldn't do it. It was, it was too oh, sketchy. Man. It was way too Sounds sketchy. Cool. It Sounds just really did not cool. feel. Because I mean, I guess you could still technically, because it's only one strap, so you could still go forward enough to where your face would probably smack the ground, and that wouldn't be fun. But I just couldn't do it. But yeah, I mean, if, if it, it would probably be possible to set up something like this in your house if you wanted to, with uh, with some of those kind of. Uh, <laughs> if you want to call it a sex swing, that's what everybody's saying in chat now. So <laughs> yes, you can buy, I'm sure you can buy those on Amazon. I'm sure they're available. So <laughs> yes, there's plenty of anime and weird stuff on steam to go along with that sex. Swing, well, I'm that, sure. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably, and it's probably on sale right now. So <laughs> you can probably do a whole, you can probably do a whole show about the VR anime sex stuff that is on sale. Oh uh, yeah. boy. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody does end up checking that out, when that comes out, please let me know about the experience. And I'm sure we'll get more info about it. The info is still limited on all the details around it. They're still 
Uh, I guess they've been working on it for a while, but they still don't have everything fa- finalized yet as far as I know. But yeah, and somebody said, uh, Paul P. Jr. said indoor hammock. You could even make it work with some kind of a hammock probably. It'd be mm-hmm. pretty awesome. So definitely looking forward to checking that out if I ever get the chance. But uh, yeah, I actually, so I was telling you before the show today, I actually don't have a ton of time today because my mom is actually moving and I have to go help her move. So we probably will have try to keep a little bit of a shorter show today because I do have to go help out with that. But uh, we do have, let me see, we got another Apex Construct Oculus gift code. So this is another Oculus gift code. Uh, if you don't know how to enter these, you have to go into the app and hit redeem gift instead of just going to redeem code in the app. That is the one thing around the gift codes that make it a little bit harder to harder to grab. But yeah. So uh, nice, wh- man. Wh- what are you excited about? What's coming up that you're just overly over the moon about? That you well, you've already, you've already spoke about Demio, uh, Sniper Elite. Can't yeah, wait Sniper to... Get some stuff going with that, and uh, actually, I think it's—is it Stones of Harla, the uh, one that looked like a like a sixteen-bit, eight-bit VR game? Yeah. Did you ever play that one? Yeah, that, yeah, one, yeah, that yeah. one's so, out. Have you not played that one yet? I haven't. I'm hoping. To, uh, well, I'm hope. I don't want to plug myself, but I'm hoping yeah. to play that today. Oh, you're uh, fine. You because they've yourself. done the bloody update, dude. Like they—they they finally managed to get rid of the book. Yeah. In the hand. So when I first played it, I was like. Is this glitched or something? I, dude, I, I spent come... 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get that book to, yeah, <laughs> to put the yeah. book away. So, and I finally messaged fine. them on Twitter and I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like, how do I put the book away? And they're like, well, actually, that was a design feature. You can't put the book away. You either have the book or the sword. Uh, yeah. That was just to simplify things. And I think a lot of people had that same concern. So they are doing the update. Is that update no out now? Tony. I think the update is it, out. It is up. Yeah. So today I'm hoping to play the game, check it out and uh, use the smooth turn and get rid of the book. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good game. I mean, and it's it's not very expensive. I think it was, what, like 10 bucks or something, if I remember right. Yeah, uh, not a very expensive game, and I, I really enjoyed it. So I am actually need to hop back in there as well to check out that new update uh, with the smooth locomotion because that was one of my one of my complaints was there was only snap turn, which uh, it never makes any sense to me. Like, when they release a game, just put all the options in there right off the bat, you know, because they all, every, every game they end up going back and updating it anyways to add smooth turn or add whatever. Just put them all in there. Put all the options in there. You can't play test enough with the with the community yeah. you cannot do it last and should have proved yeah. that yeah. in spades <laughs> yeah i gotta go back into that game i know they've they're, they're planning on doing a bunch of updates still but man i think that game if it would have launched in a different state you know if it would have launched with their uh roadmap the things that they wanted to do on the roadmap if they would have launched with those things i think it would have been uh, a whole different story instead of adding it after the fact but i still have hope for the game it's not my favorite game we talked about it last week i went in there yeah. and i was like the movement system i felt like i was crawling every time i tried to turn and i don't know it's just uh, it's it was frustrating but i still have hope that they're going to fix it i still think it has potential to be a good game but you know it first impressions mean a lot they really do so massive yeah yeah so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But I, I'll still keep playing it. I'll keep hopping back in as they do updates. But uh, and Wolf Raza said, give me my manual reload. So, yeah, that's another thing. The, the animations, big disconnect with these animations of guns flying out of your hand, but your hands aren't actually moving. Just some weird choices that they made. But I still think, I still have hope. But, man, it's 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 hard for me to beat Population 1. I'm still, still addicted to Population 1. Me and Tyler still play that quite a bit. It's just... I don't know what it is. I love that game. <laughs> so, Population but, One does a lot of things right. Like, yeah, it really does. Can't, can't but they they play tested that game literally for years before it released. I mean, with a lot of play testers, yeah. a lot of two two play tests a week. Like it was all the time, and they really listen to community feedback. I think that's one thing people can learn. It, it, I, you know, developing a game is get people involved in the process and do a lot of play testing. I do sure. expect Population One though to get ads. Yeah, they they're owned I by Facebook. Now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... I mean those billboards, dude. Like, yeah. I can see it. But as I said, I hope it's relative. Right. That's all. I just hope it's relative. You yeah. know, like whatever it is. So I like so when you mentioned about B haptics, I thought I'll, I'll be happy to see a B haptic because it's VR related. It's right. It makes sense. Something to do. Yeah. With what could enhance the game, or something to do with the game, or I don't know. You know, um, I don't want to see. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, just something random. I don't know, socks being sold <laughs> right, there. Right. Or, 
yeah. you know, I don't know, hair nets or yeah. something else yeah. random. I mean, that's stuff. that's the thing. You know, we talked about the the ads being in the hands of the developers, but what if yeah. that development studio is owned by Facebook, like Big Box? How does that yes. play into? I mean, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But and we talked about me and Tyler were talking about the fact that you know even if they use the billboards, is that going to be targeted ads toward me, targeted ads towards you? So if we're in the game together, and I said, hey, let's go jump and and climb up the the uh, Pete's Coffee billboard, and you're like, what? <laughs> I don't see a Pete's Coffee billboard. I mean, you're a Pizza Hut. I mean, you're a Pizza Hut. Yeah, like, yeah. Like so, make the whole town like full of shops. Yeah. So if it's going to be different for everybody, that's totally going to screw things up because that's gonna yeah. <laughs> it's going to be weird. Ads. Yeah, yeah. That'd be weird. yeah. That's what I mean, though. But I think back to like the days of Crazy Taxi, I, and I'm sure it wasn't seen as an advertisement, or maybe it was. I don't know. But the fact you had Pizza Hut, Fila, uh, what else was in there? There, there was a there was like three or four different things in crazy taxi and again they what you just said was what it was like it was like landmarks of the game yeah yeah i don't know i mean advertising stuff is such a deep dark hole i feel like that it is just so it like somebody just said john wester said a rabbit hole it really is it's it's it is a rabbit hole and even like i saw somebody mention the fact that z race you know z race has cars you know they have a gamer tag car in there they have a rendered reality car in there they have a vr365 you know a bmf they have all kinds of cars in there and somebody's like well isn't that advertising you know what i mean and, and technically in a way i guess that it is i mean there's a difference because you know they're not paying any of us you know to put our names on the cars or anything like that no. I, I mean i think that was a a smart move on their part. You know, I think that was cool because it got a lot of people talking about the game that may not have talked about the game. I mean, you know, the, because their name is on the but, car and that's cool, but yeah, like it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily the car. Like I thought the car looked cool. It was the fact that I got to do some voice work. Yeah. That's what excited yeah. me the most. And it, I've never done that before. And it still so. kind of made sense, especially when you get into car stuff, advertising and sports kinds of things have always been a whole other beast than a lot of other things. You know, you can't look at a NASCAR without seeing all these ads placed all over the car, you know, yeah. but, but it's, it, I don't know. It, it's just weird because it, in a sense it makes sense because, you know, it's not something intrusive. It's something that makes sense in that kind of a world and that kind of an environment. So it's just very strange. I don't know. It, it is seriously one of the biggest rabbit holes I think we can go down and I think really we're just going to have to sit back and kind of see what happens. We don't know. We don't know for sure what's going to happen, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting. You know, I won the other day on Twitter. I won some Enreal oh, yeah. AR glasses. And do you know the best bit? What's that? I haven't got a single Android <laughs> device in my house <laughs> so they're just sitting in the case oh man you haven't got nothing. to use them uh, no they're just sitting there man uh, and uh yeah it's really really annoying because yeah, i want to see what's going be. on because they have plans for uh like, for apple devices apparently so apparently yeah. ios is coming but um yeah just yeah well started. i mean you have some benefits though because you know oculus what did their update where you can get notifications, cell phone notifications, that's only Apple. And then as well as the Live app just came out and that's only iOS as well. There's no Android support yet for that official Android support. So there, there's some benefits either way, you know, depending on what, it's just, that, that stuff's such a pain in the butt though. It really is. I hate that kind of kind of stuff. Hey, tell me about, I mean, I don't know how long you got, but version 30 of Oculus, I don't know anything about that update. Is there anything like worth talking about with that? Oh, I can't remember now. I think we talked about it a little bit last week. Uh, let's see if I still have it in my notes. I don't even really remember what. If you all. don't, then I, I I jumped in today. All I saw was like a small menu, but everything else seemed exactly the same. Yeah, I have I haven't got version thirty update yet. I'm still on twenty nine. Oh. You know, they roll it out in such a, a weird way. Uh, let me roll the dice. Oh, that that was the one thing that was the big thing that stuck stuck out to me was the fact that they are doing chat where you can do private chat or party chat or like in-game chat, almost like a Discord kind of a thing. So you can be playing a multiplayer game while having a, you know, a little personal chat going on. Uh, and you can switch yeah, that stuff sense. around. That's that's, that's going to be good. yeah, that's going to be one of the big ones. Did they uh, take the, did they remove the go live feature for yeah. users to go to Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, Why they did. the hell did they do that? I have no idea. It makes no sense. I mean, it's a to, to go live to Facebook was the only option that you had <laughs> from inside the headset to go live to a platform, and it was Facebook. It was and Facebook owns it Oculus. Complete sense. Like, yeah, there there is actually a number of Facebook gaming pages because it was so easy to do, and yeah. it even done the thing like on PSVR where if someone wrote to you, uh, it come up in the headset. It was really quite nifty, like really like yeah. quite cool. I thought. I and, don't uh, know why that yeah. that is a very strange decision to me. I don't know why they I went feel that bad route. For I don't... People out there who probably started a Facebook page, yeah. on Quest, 
Yeah. And yeah, probably built up a bit of a following. And now they've got no way to make content without buying, well, without somehow getting a PC now because they yeah. need to get that there, file, upload it. And... There is still, so with the last update, there is a way where if you record the video on your headset, you can then upload it from inside your headset straight to Facebook. Oh, instead okay. of so you can do you it without like online. a pc or anything like that you can't and you can actually edit the video a little bit inside of vr too you can cut it short and stuff i believe oh, that's cool. uh, and then up so that's a nice feature but i still don't understand why they got rid of the facebook streaming that's very strange to me and i don't know if that's a permanent uh feature or like decision or if that's coming back i mean honestly i would love to see them go the, the route of being able to stream straight to facebook youtube twitch whatever it is you know just to make it easier for people because the more people that see you know, VR games being played and stuff, I think the better. That's what, you know, that's what made Beat Saber so big. That's what uh, blew them up so big. Yeah, so a th- th- couple of things have come up. Uh, Chris99989 said, Facebook stream was terrible quality. True, So true. Maybe that was part of it, you know, because I think it was at 30 FPS. Yeah, it um, never looked good. And it was, it, 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 yeah, I, I mean, it was it never the... They sold it, you know, maybe, maybe they didn't want that to represent because uh, I know they're messing around with that shit anyway because like with the mic thing yeah, uh, they included that was because content creators wanted it but then they also didn't want it at the same time right. they, you know what I mean in certain situations uh, you don't want your mic to be recorded uh, or, or for example you want to record the gameplay and you want to record everyone else's chat but you want to record your mic separately right. kind of thing but you can't do that if you turn the mic off from the recording no one can hear you in the game Right. so um, there are issues, but yeah, like a lot of people are saying that as well. And yeah, someone just said about using the quest with the Nreal glasses. I don't know how that would happen, but yeah. thank you very much for it. I didn't even think of that. So yeah, I forget the quest is an Android device. Yeah, I don't know how that would work actually. That would be I'm not sure if that's possible or what, but uh, no, and, I don't know, but I can look into it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see if they bring that feature back. But it was it was a little bit janky. But I don't know why they didn't fix it. I feel like they There's could have there. made it better. You know what I mean? From Wolf Razo, he's put some of the music in games is copyrighted. That is a massive, massive situation at the moment yeah. going on with um, with a lot of content creators because you've got the people going, oh, should you be paid for like sponsored content? And then like on the other side, people are like, well, you get ad revenue. I can tell you now, YouTube's ad revenue yeah. is not a lot of money no. at all. You have to do a lot of. I can't even imagine the hours yeah. what you're worth an hour on YouTube at a certain point. You know, obviously it goes up hopefully for most people. Right, but. Um, yeah, yeah, so then the next thing is, like, that's why I don't do Beat Saber. Like, Beat Saber sent me all that new playlist mm-hmm. from their new game, but it's the setup, it's doing it all, and then you think to yourself, dude, I'm not, I'm literally not going to get anything out of this, and there is a chance that the video even get, like, recently, video music videos get blocked. Yeah, yeah, get like, blocked, blocked in a lot that, of countries, and you get yeah, sometimes so, you get copyright strikes depending on who the copyright holder yeah, is because they're... One thing is not getting any money, but... Getting yeah. a video block that just makes it a complete waste of time. Yeah, yeah, it's essentially. Just, I mean, that's so, like, I mean, one of the the upcoming updates for Pistol Whip. You know, we have that coming up with a whole new campaign, and there's all these modifiers you can do and weapons and all this stuff. But it's like, you know, for a lot of people that stream stuff all the time, they're like, you know, what am I going to do with this? Because most likely yeah. it's going to be all copyrighted stuff. You know, and that makes things so much more difficult, especially for just people want- that. You know, yeah. they put in so much time. You know, like I just what, won't do it live. I won't do it live anymore. Yeah. I will pre-record it, upload it. And just hope it doesn't hit anything. But you can still, I don't know if you can get a copyright strike if you don't post it. That's something I'm not sure of, you know, yeah, because if you know. have it just unlisted, then what happens to that video? Because it will go through the same checks, obviously. Right. Um, but you know what? Funny enough, I've had a couple of videos that actually flag up later. False oh, claims. Yeah. Yeah. That comes in all the time. Yeah, um, too. And uh, also, I've had a video that checked okay. Then half hour, it wasn't okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, okay. it's definitely oh. a pain. I mean, it, like I, yeah. I know, uh, I think her name is Naysay that does a lot of like uh, Beat Saber and all those kind of videos. She's real popular. But I know she's posted before. Like, you know, it's a never ending stressful situation because you never know when something could happen and your, yeah. your channel gets blocked. She could or, you lose know. it. She could actually yeah. lose her Twitch channel yeah. in theory. And, and YouTube. I mean, she has a ton of, yeah. you know, really big channels. And it's like, man, like that's, you know, a stressful situation. You never know when your next upload could you know you got to start over again because your channel got blocked or whatever it is i mean it is yeah it is something that hopefully in the future they can figure out it's something that needs to be figured out especially for vr because vr is such a visual thing you know that people like to see you know those mixed reality videos that look just incredible and stuff oh, like that good. and they're you know yeah. with the music stuff but i mean if these big name people don't want to take the time to 
to make those for the, you know, obvious reasons of getting copyright strikes and stuff. It's something that needs to be looked at, but I am excited for Pistol Whip, though. I am really excited for that update that is uh, hopefully coming out pretty soon. For me, the biggest one is After the Fall. That is what I cannot wait for. Uh, that is my most anticipated game, the game I am most excited I for, four-player co-op. You played it? I played it. Did you play it at... Uh, Gamescom. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you, I do remember seeing that. It was that. awesome. And that was how long it ago? It was uh, so that would have been 2018. Yeah, so that's no 2019. 2019. That's been a while. So I I imagine it's even better now than when it was then. But I mean, man, I oh, oh, I I thought the videos are really good. Like some people weren't too happy with it. Like they were like, oh, the animations were a bit off and stuff. But the game still isn't released. Yeah. Um, and I thought the amount of zombies on screen. End of the day, I just want that cooperative multiplayer situation. That to me is my fantasy and the problem is you can overhype it in your mind you know like imagining you're all back to back surrounded by these things yeah. and you're chucking ammo to each other and trying to survive and shit you know yeah. like but yeah you got to keep things in check but from what i remember uh it definitely looked good yeah you know, yeah really i can't good. wait that is that's the one that i'm most most excited for so hopefully that Hopefully that is not a botched launch like some of these other big titles that we were excited about uh, had some rough launches. Hopefully they get it all, everything worked out, and hopefully, huh, I'm just super excited. But yeah, uh, anything else you have for today that you want to share? Or? No, I'm just looking at this. some of your, I love your chat. I know, um, I do too. I, I wish I could podcast. read every single one. It's so hard it's sometimes tough. to keep up with I'm all of it. At, um, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, GT has his clones out on the prowl. Don't know, don't know. I don't, I don't know how to respond about has the clones. What? I've clones? got clones, apparently. Huh. All right. There's a few of me around. Maybe I'm live streaming at the moment at the same time. <laughs> That'd be know. interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Awesome. Not sure. That is awesome. So you did you say you're planning on playing Stones of Harlot today? Stones of Harlot, yeah. I'd like okay. to uh, get that done today. My wife's due home soon, so if she's um, okay, then yeah. I'll do it. But, awesome. uh, we'll keep a lookout yeah, for that. that so. it's, it's Demio, dude. Like, yeah. I'm really excited to check that out, me and too. I'm trying to stay away from it to make the video. 28th not long not long this coming week so yeah i can't wait for that so uh, again thank you for coming on because it was a totally last minute i mean i even tweeted out saying this is going to be a strange lonely episode because i was going to do it by myself and literally right before going live he's like hey man i'm available you need me to hop on so you know he came on we made it work so uh a little bit of a stressful morning everything worked out hopefully tyler gets to feeling better definitely appreciate definitely appreciate the chat you know chat is always yeah, well, tyler. on fire i love chat the super chats buy me a coffees all that we greatly greatly appreciate it uh yeah and that is i think all we have for today but again thanks for coming on uh check out gamer tags channel i don't think there's a link in my video since we uh I don't need a link last this minute line. but i'm sure most of you know him but gamer tag vr check him out on youtube and twitch and all that other good stuff thanks again for coming on uh and i'm gonna probably see everybody in demio this week so weekend's gonna be a little bit busy but next week for sure some demio i'm sure you'll be in there too and we will wait, uh I can't wait. <laughs> we'll see you all next week thanks again everybody later thank you stay safe thank you see ya